Today we're gonna to look at airplay mirroring for your iOS devices using an Apple TV. So the other day after covering this little thing here, the AV adapter from Apple to plug into your iOS device mirroring the screen, a lot of people said they're using an Apple TV to mirror the screen using AirPlay. I didn't have one, I now do. I really wanted to see what this was all about. I couldn't answer any questions, now I can. Let's go through setting one of these up from scratch. So these are multifunction devices, so I'll be using it for a lot more than just the AirPlay mirroring. But today, that's what we're gonna look at. We'll get Zwift running on an iPhone 7 here using AirPlay, and we'll also have another iPhone 7 over here using the cable. Let's put them side by side, see what differences there are. All for a bargain price here in Australia of $300, which is about five or six slabs of beer in our currency. So, I'll try and go fast with this tonight. Apple TV. Oh, the unveiling. Okay, we have, as always, Apple do beautiful things. And as always, we get rid of the plastic nice and quickly. Oh, there's an apple. Um, oh, it's, oh. You know when you peel off the plastic of something brand new? Let's all enjoy this. That is magic. I could, I see, I could do this for a job, really. That is so much fun. Okay. Oh, it's stuck to me as well. Super simple in the back here. Power, lightning port, HDMI out, and ethernet. So all your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are all built in. Okay, let's get started. That was the hardest part. Cable, okay. and extra cable and manual. And you know what we all do with the manuals? We read them last. Power on. HDMI cable in the back. There's three ways you can connect to this device. Wired, wireless, or peer-to-peer. -to -peer. Today, we're focusing on the wireless. Okay, so television on and, oh God, that stuff gets everywhere. Okay, HDMI port and we are on. Okay, we're in Australia. Unlock your iOS device, enable Bluetooth, hold your device close to Apple TV. Let me get my Bluetooth device. Really? So, really? That's all I've got to do? It's not going to be that easy. So it's done. We've got this on the Wi-Fi network at home here. We're going to watch Bridget Jones's baby. So we've now got the Apple TV on the home network here, on the home Wi-Fi. We're going to AirPlay settings just to see if there's anything we can tweak. Uh, AirPlay on, Apple TV name, so you can call this whatever you want. This is just my home network, so we're not gonna put any security features on this. Back to the start. That should be it. That should be as all the setup that's required. So for now, so we'll just do a simple screen mirroring test from here. So on the phone, swipe up, AirPlay mirroring, Apple TV, enter the AirPlay password for the Apple TV, passcode is 0066, okay. And we're on. You see the scroll speed there's pretty good. That's also Veronica. About, what, a minute after we pr I proposed to Yvonne? <laughs> Was it? More on that in another video. How are we looking for an initial setup? Okay. Okay, now what we'll be able to do is have a look. How, that's also something to note if you're doing iOS device presentations. Turn off notifications. So, straight screen mirroring right here. Let's have a look how quickly that updates their details. How are we looking? Now this again over my Wi-Fi. Those numbers, that's pretty good. That's really good. So again, in summary, Zwift iOS natively on here, 
via AirPlay on the new Apple TV, which took us less than five minutes to set up, to the big screen. So we've got the first iPhone 7 here, running via AirPlay. We're gonna use the second iPhone 7 with the AV adapter from Apple. Now the trick is, we have to find the same rider to follow on both screens. Let's see how close I can get. Uh, Jay Fieldberg, okay. And we'll try and find the same rider here. We've done it. We have the same rider on both screens. Uh, okay, we need to make sure we're on the same camera though. There we go. So here we have running the wired version using the AV adapter. And over here, we have the AirShare version running over Wi-Fi to Apple TV Gen 4. Uh, my general feeling at the moment, I think this one's a little bit laggier. I think this one may be a little smoother with the road movement, you probably can't even pick it up on the camera here, so it's only really finicky. We'll try some different camera angles. Three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I had it just then. Okay, from the side angle here. Now just looking at these really closely side by side, there's a bit more graphic detail here. You can see this is quite dark through here. It's quite light through here. I've got both television settings exactly the same. So there is a bit of difference going on with the compression and uh, the graphics being sent from both devices. But look, it's only a very, very small detail. Another thing I'll pick out as well is there just appears to be a little bit of lag here. It's only very, very slight over the network here. And look, that's what, sort of what I expected anyway. For me, um, I like a hardwired solution. You know, there's nothing getting in the way and no interference. There's always gonna be a little bit of lag. There may be something else going on on the network. So that's the two differences that I can see now, but absolutely a viable solution. If you've got an Apple TV and the flexibility of this without wires, if you need to go an extended distance um, from where your setup is, works brilliantly. Okay, so it was as simple as that. What we did on these machines is swipe up to select AirPlay and it went straight to that. Few differences between the two, but both really good options from getting from the small screen to the big screen. So the next question is, will we get Zwift on the Apple TV natively? Let's see what happens in the near future. So that's it for now. Hopefully this has been informative. Questions, comments, likes below. Much appreciated. Thanks for watching.